It's similar to the partial rebreather. This remember is a non rebreathing mass. Except this bag in a non rebreather mass has a one way, one way valve that prevents exhale air from going into the bag. All the exhale air leaves the mass through the side holes in the mass. That's why it's called a non rebreather. The patient does not rebreathe any of their exhaled air. The plastic reservoir bag has a high concentration of oxygen. If we connect this bag to the oxygen source, And one of the problems is that this oxygen cylinder only goes up to 8 liters and you need to have the oxygen source much higher for a non rebreather mass as it will fill this bag with oxygen. And keep it filled so that when the patient breathes in, they breathe a hundred, they breathe all the oxygen from the bag. Like that. When they exhale, it has a valve here that prevents the exhaled oxygen from going into the bag and the exhaled oxygen leaves through the two side holes. When the patient breathes in, these valves prevent room air from entering the mass. Therefore, the patient breathes only oxygen from the bag. This non rebreather mask has only one of the side vents with a one way valve. This is done on some masks because if you don't have enough oxygen or high flow rate or for some reason this becomes obstructed, an unconscious or immobilized patient could not get any air at all because these side vents would be closed. This is not given enough oxygen. So the patient would not get any air if they didn't have a side vent open. Other non-rebreather masks typically have both valves on the side vent. Therefore, as you can see, when I breathe in, I get no oxygen. Unless I'm getting oxygen from the bag. If this becomes detached or they don't have enough flow rate to the bag, I am not getting any air at all, let alone oxygen. That's why some of them have the one valve left open. You get a better, higher concentration of oxygen if both are closed because it's not drawing in room air when the patient inhales.